condition on this planet over the last 100 years or so. For our entire history as a species, virtually all of the primary threats to our survival had the following characteristics. First, they were sudden, dramatic events. How many of you heard that? Come on. No. <laughs> I know you're not in that bad of shape. Um, how many of you are aware of your heart's beating? Or of your lungs working? Or of the earth turning? Which, by the way, are the more important? <laughs> you can take them in reverse order, I think. Right? See, there's a very good reason why we all hear that. The very good reason is we have been evolutionarily programmed, selected over a long, 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 long period of time to be acutely aware of sudden dramatic changes in our environment. And there's a very simple reason. For virtually all of our history as a species, those were the primary threats to our survival. So I guarantee you, if you're designing an optimal cave person, that person's ability to contemplate the cosmos is low on your design criteria. That person's ability to recognize a sudden dramatic event and react is very high on your design criteria. You want to know where crisis management comes from? This is where it starts. We are programmed for crisis. Here is the pickle. The pickle is our world has changed and we haven't. Today, all the primary threats to our survival are slow, gradual processes. And we're still waiting for the crisis. Given that situation, by the time the crisis comes, often it's too late to do much of anything about it. Now I'm going to suggest to you that one way to think about this pickle is a crisis of perception. I'm going to say it in a couple of different ways, and you can sort of come in on this any one pathway that makes the most sense to you. About 18 years ago, and you have to excuse me this morning, I'm going to tell a lot of stories, because that's the only way I can sort of weave this thing together, because it's just my experience in wrestling with these things. About 18 years ago, I was at a meeting in Vienna, a group of people from around the world gathered together to talk about innovation. And about third day of that conference, a man stood up who spoke with this heavy Eastern European accent. I didn't know who he was. I found out later he was the head of the United Nations office in, in Vienna. But I could tell most everybody else in the audience knew who he was. And he made a statement which I never been able to get out of my head. He said, I really think this stuff about innovation we're talking about is very important, blah, 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 blah. But I ha can't sit any longer without observing what I think is a far more important issue. He says, near as I can see, it's the issue. So when I travel around the world, I see many, many different crises and problems. But actually, I see many forms of the same crisis and problem. He said, over the last 100, 200 years, our technological prowess has gone, grown beyond our wildest imagination. Our ability to affect the world around us has exploded on all levels, on the macro scale and the micro scale, from altering the temperature on the planet to altering the DNA. He said, but during that time, I don't much see that our wisdom has increased much at all. And if that imbalance between our power and our wisdom isn't corrected sometime soon, I don't have much hope for our prospects. And he sat down. Not too long ago, when the international trade deficit problem started to become a real issue, three, four years ago, Japanese uh, foreign minister was speaking in this country and used a very interesting analogy. I found myself thinking about it again the last, uh, last day or two as I've been getting ready for this talk. He said, as he considered what was happening in this trade imbalance, which of course is also another part of these systemic crises, he said, it's like driving down a dark road without headlights. As I've thought about it, if you want to have a very simple metaphor, which as I sort of got in my head the last day or two, sort of can't quite get it out, it is like we're driving down a dark road. And two things are going on. We're accelerating, and we're turning down the headlights.
Our power, our prowess, is causing the acceleration. Our capacity to see what's around us is turning down the headlights. That's why Dan asked me to consider the theme a crisis of perception. Now, there was one other reason why I agreed to, to, to